and another video from Dave. What's up, YouTube? This is Dave's Head No Point Seven. This is another video to do with Uncharted Four: A Thief's End sells 2.7 million in one week. More salt for the ex twats and weirdos. Do you need water? <laughs> and another video from Dave. And yeah, um, pretty much for getting the whole thing about, uh, you know, Uncharted pretty much breaking records, 2.7 million in one week, no surprise, <laughs> you know, um, I do want to mention that I won't be doing the uh, Movie Tweaker podcast, kind of taking a break from just podcast in general, but the gaming podcast, I just don't really feel like doing it, you know, and I'm not going to do a podcast that I really don't want to do right now, you know what I'm saying, I'm not going to, I'm not going to do something because then I feel the podcast don't come out good and it's bad content for you guys I just don't really feel like doing it right now that's my reasons uh, because I've had some people asking I will do it it will happen it will be, there will be one coming eventually just not right now <laughs> just I don't want to do a podcast basically that you know if I do the podcast and I don't feel it's the way I want it you know and didn't put my full energy into it I don't like it and that's happened with a couple podcasts I just did because I feel like I had to I want to do a podcast when I want to do a podcast you know what I'm saying that's when they turn out good all right other than that you know you got so many people upset right now you had people you know if let's let's rewind a little bit armored <coughs> armored <laughs> you know he's saying on my podcast well I just think it's weird, you know, and I've heard this from a lot of, you know, people here on YouTube. I just think it's weird, you know, Sony always reveals those numbers, and uh, they're not saying nothing, you know, it's just a little odd, that's all I'll say, and, it, it, and there's a lot of people saying this, there's a lot of salty people saying this, not saying Armored's salty about it, maybe he's just really just saying that, just as, you know, he really feels that, but there's some people just like hoping this game fails. <laughs> When you can just look at this game, let's just cut the whole bullshit. Let's just say, let's just look at the game on a visual standpoint. A visual standpoint. Okay, not how fun it is, not how great they did things in it, nothing like that. Let's just talk about graphics. This game gra graphically is the best game on consoles, graphically, to date, period, <laughs> in my opinion. <laughs> um, it, it looks that good, you know. The game's fun. It is, you know, and, and another thing before I get into this video, you know, you got Bear Hugger running around, uh, you know, basically running his mouth, you know, saying, oh, well, we face us, 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 the glitch group face Dave, you know, and his and his team and we beat them, you know, we destroyed them and he and he's bragging. And I'm like, didn't I kick your ass silly in UFC? Did I brag about that? No. Was I man enough to actually face a team that plays together day and night? <laughs> and that's all you guys play lately? Uh, yeah, I was. You know, I played with two random people. Uh, procrastination that I play with. And Frozen. And two other random people. You know? So, I mean, let's really think about that. You guys play together all the time. And you have two pretty damn good players on your team. Silver Sky and, Duel and uh, Dreadhead. Which he is pretty damn good, you know. So you guys play together all the time, every night. You were playing together last night, I believe. I could be wrong, but I could have sworn you were streaming last night playing. Bragging about your win that you beat uh, me, Procrastination, Frozen, and two randoms. But then when you check the scoreboard of the uh, first match, like if you really look at the first, you know, the first match of the whole thing, let, let's check it. Okay, for two randoms, Procrastination, and Dave's had enough, and Frozen Magma, Procrastination scored uh, 18, well, let, let's show you guys so you guys can see this. Hold on. Okay, do we see this? Let, let's back that up. Okay, Procrastination, I don't know if you could see this, 
Got 18 downs and 12 KOs and 14, assist, uh, 14 assists, uh, 0 revives and 9 deaths. All right. Let's look at your team. Uh, Dooley, who is Dreadhead, 15 downs, 12 KOs, uh, seven assists and eight deaths. So that's the that's the highest you know you know so the highest uh, score that anybody on your team has done. Procrastination scored higher than anybody. So uh, if you look at say me and Pro now me on this game, I did horrible. But Bear Hugger, I got seven downs, five KOs, uh, two revives, six assists, and five deaths. Let's look at Bear Hugger. Okay. He got five downs, five KOs, uh, five revives, nine assists, and six deaths. I mean, who did better, Bear Hugger? <laughs> and you're bragging against me? I think anybody should be bragging would be Procrastination or Dooley. You know, they should be bragging, you know, but uh, I wouldn't say you, buddy. <laughs> But that's, and, and it's 36 to 40. We shouldn't even came that close to beating you guys. Even that close. You know, we shouldn't even came that close. You guys should have dominated us for a team that don't even really play together. So when we do practice, things may be different. Or who knows, it may be the same. But there will be a rematch. But, you know, one thing I'll say here, until you guys beat me best three out of five in UFC, and don't beat me once because I'm giving you a chance to learn and then post it on a uh, fucking YouTube, a flash TK, a flash knockout, <laughs> Baltimore, um, and Joey running his mouth like he did it, um, then talk to me, okay? Best three out of five in UFC, beat me in that, and then you can brag, okay? Now Dave's going to go practice, too. You, with with a team, and then we'll face each other, and then maybe you could sit here and, and brag. But I think it's funny, Dave never even bragged once about beating your guys' asses in fucking UFC. You know, anybody I fought other than Procrastination. You know, the two people that dominate me is Danielle and Procrastination in UFC. You know, but when I beat Procrastination or beat Danielle, which very, I think it was like one time I beat Danielle, I feel pretty proud of myself because those are some top players in the UFC. But when we come this close to beating you guys in Uncharted 4 and you play every night, night and day, rain or shine, I wouldn't be so proud of that. <laughs> Alright? Okay. Back to the video. Alright. Now. Uh, back to the video. <laughs> um, pretty much Uncharted 4 sold 2.7 million in one week. You had people, like I said, saying, oh, well, Sony don't reveal their num. You know, it's weird for Sony not to say nothing. They're usually first to come out and say something when they do really good. Well, here it is. Uncharted 4 sold 2.7 million units in its first week. IGN. Okay, they're credible. <laughs> Naughty Dog's highly anticipated action adventure title sold over 2.7 million units worldwide in North America. The game's sales made Uncharted 4 the fastest selling PlayStation 4 first party title to date. The worldwide sell through data for both physical and digital includes sales as of May 16th. Millions of fans around the world have already joined Nathan Drake on his final treasure hunt. Reads a post by PlayStation Blog. A huge congratulations goes out to Naughty Dog for an incredible uh, feature. Uncharted 4 launched on May 10th for PlayStation 4, set three years after Uncharted 3's Drake Deception. The events of Uncharted 4, Drake for uh, one more adventure. Uncharted 4, a 9 out of 10 on IGN. Uh, we think it's a great story, stunning visuals, and, sit and slick gameplay. Make uh, Drake's final adventure one to remember. There are a whole lot of treasures to unlock. Uncharted 4, Thieves, and blah, 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 blah. Okay, so there it is. 2.7 million in first week. In the first week. I don't think one game on the Xbox One even did that. <laughs> I don't. Not even Halo. <laughs> Halo 5, you know. That thing, it, it, what's so funny about this... Uncharted 4 is almost pretty much, almost, almost sold Halo numbers in the first week. You know what I'm saying? That's how good it sold. <laughs> you know, it, it almost sold Halo 5 numbers of where it's at 
pretty much, I think, now in the first week. That's pretty bad. And I can understand why people are really salty. You know, weirdos, we weirdos, you know, everybody. Um, I just think it's hilarious. You know, you got people, you know, sitting there and saying, oh, well, you know, Sony, you know, they usually come out and say something. You know, they would have said something by now. Well, here you go. Here it is. 2.7 million units in the first week. You have to give time, a little time for sales. You know, the game hasn't been out long. <laughs> you know, um, but I just think it's hilarious, you know, how people said that, you know. And then you got some people that, you know, are so, uh, you know, ready to give this game a bad review and prove it's wrong. They're actually going out and going away for work to get a PS4, <laughs> you know, and claiming they might get a Wii U, which I highly doubt. And if they do do that, I feel sorry. They're just not going to be happy as usual. Um, going out to get a PS4 to basically review this game to, you know, to give it a probably most likely a prediction of my crystal ball, a bad review, you know, basically tear down the game. We already see this coming. We know it's not going to be a good review. We know you're going to find things wrong with it. You know who you are, and I'll call him out, Grimpachi. <laughs> We're friends, so I could do it. Uh, you know, he's basically going to get a PS4. This is one of my predictions. He's and I'm going to say this live here on in my video. Prove me wrong. If you prove me wrong, you prove me wrong. You're going to get Uncharted 4. You're basically going to tear the game apart because you see all these reviews, and you're like, oh, i got to find something wrong with it. Blah, 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 blah. But to me... I mean, I hope you're not getting a PS4 just to do that. That would be a waste of money. I would hope you're getting a PS4 to play with, you know, me and Frozen and maybe Procrastination. Join us and face the glitch group, you know. Uh, but, you know, and then you say you're not going to get PlayStation Plus. Why would you get Uncharted? Why would you go get a PlayStation 4 and get Uncharted 4 and not PlayStation Plus? I mean, that's all you. That's fine. But that's just a little weird, Grimbachi. Um, I would think you'd want to play the multiplayer, you know, with everybody, but uh, it is what it is. But I'm not calling out Grimpachi. I'm just calling my future prediction of Grimpachi. I know what he's going to do. But basically, this video is about, I want to address some things in the video, too. Um, but yeah, this video is basically about all the you know, X twats and Wii weirdos all salty. You know, you got you got you got Wii weirdos that are now playing the Uncharted series, tearing down Uncharted 2. You know, tearing down Uncharted 4. Oh, I, I, one of them saying Terminator piss. Oh, I think everybody's just blinded by the visuals. It, it, you know, it basically, you know, makes them, you know, say things and all this just from these great visuals or something along the lines of that, you know, pretty much brainwashes them, just the visuals or something he said along those lines. I don't know. It's always something stupid with that guy. The game's good, guys. The game is good. It wouldn't be selling 2.7 million in one week. That's incredible. You know, this game's most likely going to be uh, probably the top selling game on PS4. You know, by the time I say a month, a month from now rolls by, or you know, two months, it's going to be really, it's going to be one of the best selling games this generation. Period. It's, it's. I believe it's the fastest selling game. Uh, you know, in the first week right now, this generation. So, um, yeah, I just think you're going to have a lot of salty people. You got Crap Gamer, of course, making reviews, uh, or not making reviews, making videos right now about how Halo 5, Halo 5 sold 400 million, I believe, in its first month or something. Or was it, was it 400 million the first week, but it was all to do with bundles and stuff? This is physical copies, I believe, of this game just sold, you know. But the game sold great. The point of this video is, the point of this video is, all you people that had doubts that this masterpiece of a game, in my opinion, <laughs> actually sold like shit, you know, get, I mean, here's some water, you know, here, here's some water, get the salt out your mouth. <laughs> I love it, I love it, I love it. You know, and um, I'm actually playing through the game on Crushing, you know, right now. I actually beat the, heart, the part I was stuck on last night. And I think it's funny, all these big Uncharted fans in this, uh, you know, in this community, most of you guys that are huge Uncharted fans or, or talking this game up aren't even playing it on Crushing. <coughs> Bear Hugger. <coughs> Silver Sky. Um, I don't know about Dreadhead, but, you know, them two at least. I haven't even seen them beat the game on Crushing, you know. At least Dave is going for his 
first playthrough on crushing instead of just running through the game on moderate and, you know, beating the game. And then, you know, I mean, supposedly this is like your favorite game of all time, some of you guys. And I would think you'd give yourself a challenge with it, right? Uh, but that's just me. I, I just find that weird. I've been looking through the community. I'm like, can't these guys? I'm looking through my friends list on my trophies list. And I'm like looking at other people's stuff. I'm like, oh, they're beating the game on moderate. And uh, you, they're, I mean, that don't make much sense to me, to me, to me. And, you know, as great as you guys are at the multiplayer and all this stuff, Dave's actually giving himself a challenge. Just saying. <laughs> But yeah, um, there will be a rematch with the uh, Glitch group. Um, hopefully, Grimpachi does get his PS4 and gets PlayStation Plus and uh, joins our team so we can get a team, you know, of me, Frozen, Procrastination. Maybe practice, uh, you know, get some practice going. Would not just get on there and face you guys with, like, really no practice at all and get 30, 36 to 40, you know. I know Procrastination, I, I don't, I don't, I don't blame Procrastination. We were playing like shit, you know, and he got, after a while, he was he was doing good just about every time. You can go look at the live stream. Um, I'm, I'm, I think he scored higher than mostly everybody most of the matches. So you have to give it to Procrastination. Great player in many of games. You know, he's fantastic. I have to say, Procrastination, he is one dude that I play with that's just good, just good in about any game. You know, that's why I like playing with him because it makes me better. Just saying. Uh, same thing with other people I play against, uh, like Danielle. She's fantastic in UFC. Um, you know, I think at times she, her, and I think sometimes she's a little better in procrastination, but then procrastination surprises me, and he seems a little better. But that's my video, guys. Tell me if uh, you're still salty about Uncharted 4 being a fucking masterpiece, in my opinion. <laughs> I mean, that podcast I had, I couldn't, I mean, there are so many upset people in the comment section. I couldn't get over it. I don't know, but yeah, that's my video, guys. Tell me what you think in the comment section. Uncharted pretty much dominating the sales charts, dominating the reviews. It is the game of the generation, in my opinion. <laughs> Later, YouTube.